So Faye's sensei made a tweet today saying, at Mams Taylor, still too late for that lightweight tawny. What does he mean by lightweight tawny? Doesn't he mean cruiserweight? Because the cruiserweight tournament is the one that he apparently declined. Well, not even apparently, like he literally said it in his podcast with Wade that he declined it. He didn't really say why though, like he was kind of beating around the bush as to why, but he definitely declined that. Still trying to do I that. IFN, I IFN. Of course, IFN said that shit. Yeah, fighters who decline to be a part of the Misfits Boxing Cruiserweight title tournament. I mean, Dr. Mike, JMX. Oh, Dr. Josh Mike would have been a shout. That would have been fun. Josh Bruckner and Faye Sensei. Out of, the, out of most people, you probably have the most legitimate reason not to. Yeah, I, I, my first question was, how many fights? When are the <laughs> fights? Are they guaranteed money? <laughs> All the fights, you know what I'm saying? If we get guaranteed fights, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying here. Uh, how much are we talking? <laughs> you know what I mean? And also, who the hell's in the tournament? Yeah. yeah. I saw Tommy. I saw Avion. I'm like, no, 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 bro. I'm good. We're done. But it seems like he's interested in it again. And you know what? Like, I would actually want to see Sensei. Like, I would love to see Sensei back on Misfits. I can't lie. Misfits announced that Killer B will be on Misfits 15. IFN posted this, but they also posted another poster with her opponent, apparently DJ Amila Selena. But Misfits didn't post that on their official Instagram. So I'm not even sure if this is the official opponent and I don't even know who she is. But Astrid Wet was in the comments and it seems like she ain't feeling it. She said, not to be a hater or anything, wish them the best, but isn't it influencer boxing? Two new females that again, don't have a following. And then she goes on to say this when she replies to this comment saying that she has a point. Scene needs Pokimane, don't know who that second girl is, Kate Abdo, Karina, huge influencers, will get called a hater but still passionate about the scene and I'll be back soon. I get what Astrid is saying about the scene needing huge influencers but you've got to be realistic. She's saying people like Pokimane. Pokimane is not gonna fight. And there are videos of Pokimane saying that she would be down to do an influencer boxing match. But saying it and actually doing it is two different things. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, influencer boxing win. <laughs> actually, I'd be down. Here. You would actually, you already have. <laughs> I don't think she would actually do it. Like the risk reward factor for someone like Pokimane, who's already so successful in streaming, because that's what she does. It's like she would have to take up so much time away from the thing that already makes her so much money just to do boxing, which would probably make her less or around about the same money. So it's like, why would she do it? It's like the same reason why we didn't get Ethan and Joe Weller. Ethan didn't do it because it's just that risk reward factor. It's like he has to take up so much time away from Sidemen, away from his daughter to train for this boxing match where he's not even going to be earning the amount of money that he already makes from Sidemen. So it's like, what's the point? That's why we didn't get Ethan and Joe Weller. That's why we don't get these big influencers coming and fighting. So this video has been going around with Jake Paul talking about Mike Tyson and what he wants to do to him when they fight. For the sport. No, it's very surreal. Like this is one of the biggest fights in history and I'm just honored to be a part of it with a dance partner like Mike Tyson. I could have never dreamt of this. I'm humbled. I owe it all to my fans, my supporters. And we just got here through hard work, taking risks and knocking people out. And that's what I'm going to keep on doing on July 20th. Mikey, Uncle Mike, I love you. You're looking amazing, but there can only be one winner. And I'm sorry, but I got to end you, brother. And to be honest, like, I don't expect nothing less. I can't lie. This is Jake Paul. At the end of the day, he has to sell this fight. He's not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to put no power behind my punches. He's a 60-year-old man. I'm going to take it easy. At the end of the day, he has to sell the fight. So he's going to say this. Do I actually think he would do this in the ring? Yes. Yes, I do. This is Jake Paul. He does not care that he's fighting a 60-year-old man. He's going to be proud if he knocks this man out, in my opinion. Like, he's going to be very happy if he actually does that and if he beats him like he's he's not gonna care about how old he is like this is jake paul also with jake paul there's been a lot of talk about his weight and how he looks very big 
and apparently he's 230 pounds now this whole jake paul and ksi thing is coming back again it's coming back up again and people are saying the fight's never gonna happen and you know what it is what it is i watched wade's video and he was asking people how they feel if this fight was to ever happen or to not ever happen and for me and i feel like this is for everyone like if this fight was to be made of course everybody will be excited everybody would want to go and attend and be watching the fight like the hype is still there maybe it's not as hyped as it could have been for last year or the year before that but there's definitely still hype for the fight because i know if they were to drop a trailer for this fight i'd be so excited i'd be so gassed like everybody would but i think this whole is it happening is it not like i think that's what everybody's over once you make the fight people will care like if they're going to be doing negotiations for the fight again with jake paul and ksi don't even tell us don't even tell us that you're negotiating again just when you've made the fight and it's official then tell us because the whole maybe it's happening maybe it's like that's the part that i think everybody's over like we're just over that bit anyways guys put in the comments what you think don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys